silver medalist at Seoul, Riddick Bo. His ninth professional fight in the black trunks. He has uh, won all eight, seven by knockout. And going up against 28-year-old Mike Acey, who is 10-3-1. He won his first 10 fights all by KO, but since a uh, record of 0-3, and one and AC is a walk-in fighter it will be made to order for Riddick ball Bo at 6 5 230 and a quarter even looks away to his corner here the start of the first round and he has had a hectic September three fights in the course of 16 days when all three by first round knockout and if he continues to fight some of this kind of uh, competition he could fight uh, every other day. Well, this kind of competition, Mike Gacy found out about this fight on Sunday. He says that he is a slugger. His best punch, though, is a combination, he says, the right hand and left hook. Let's see if we see it now. He's already turning away. This is where I say I said last time we saw Riddick Bow fight. It's time to close the show. Look at AC turn away when, when Riddick Bow even faints at him. Nice left hook by Bow. Bow's a good looking fighter. He's when we saw him against uh, on the undercard, One, two, here it is already three, this first round. Four, this fight's not going long. We saw him on the undercard against seven, Lionel Butler, Camacho Mancini. He looked like he needed some schooling. He's gone back to work, back in the gym. He's been studying boxing very well. Looks quite impressive here. But will not get much schooling in this fight. Looking to uh, pad the record and uh, ready uh, shortly to up the competition. He does need to up the competition, but he also needs to use this fight to learn. What did he What did he need to learn? The most important thing in the, the Lionel Butler fight, he needed to learn to use the left jab, and he's not used it much here in this first round. But he hasn't had to. Look at that good movement. The right hand, he set it up too. He rocked all of his weight back on his back foot, and he landed. Ted Pick will let him go for one more. 40 seconds ago, three knockdown rule is in effect, and there it is. That's all the best shot, though. This fight's over. Mike AC did not want to fight. This fight should have never begun. Riddick Bowe looked a little bit better this time than he did the last time. He's still a learning fighter, still schooling inside the ropes. You can learn a lot from a fighter like a Mike AC, even though it's no competition for someone like Bo, you can learn how to set up your punches. You can learn some of the things, practice them in front of the crowd that you've practiced in the gym. So Mike AC uh, serves up as a sacrificial lamb to Riddick Bo, who ups his record to 9 and 0 with his eight knockouts. And uh, I think it's time uh, for Riddick, as he's now being attended by Eddie Futch. The step in the ring.